G'day, <coughs> John here, and welcome to my shop. Um, today's episode is about building a, uh, well, creating a uh, blue epoxy bowl. So <coughs> it's uh, maple burl and put into a mold and uh, turned with the, uh, the blue epoxy, um, finished off with a tabletop epoxy. And this has come out extremely good. So <coughs> um, this is the bowl here. Um, I'll just bring it up to the camera so everyone can see a little bit closer uh, what I'm talking about. It's, um, it's an amazing finish and the uh, grain pattern of that, uh, pop, that uh, maple burl is just amazing. It's just, it's brilliant. You can see uh, the bowl there. So, without further ado, let's get stuck in. So this is the bowl blank going between centers. I'm using the uh, Hercules, I think it's a number three, uh, roughing gouge. This is a, a scrape of it with a negative rake and a half inch steel um, tool. Um, and it's excellent for just uh, hogging out the material from uh, the bowl blank. You can see here the uh, half inch uh, bowl gouge been brought in to just take that um, sacrificial wood to virtually nothing but with a uh, small tenon uh, for the uh, lathe chuck. I find the bowl goes to um, work pretty well once you've got uh, most of the material taken away with the uh, scraper. Hercules works really well. Highly recommend it.
after sanding, <coughs> and it went all the way up to um, 320 grit. I've used the uh, Axe um, sanding paste and really leaving the uh, epoxy and the uh, maple pearl to a fairly uh, rough surface comparatively to being polished and um, I'm going to be using a tabletop epoxy finish so it's got to have some sort of surface to adhere to. One of the things I didn't do and wish I had uh, looking back now was to use uh, some of the uh, penetrating epoxy to seal off that maple pearl because by God it, it gave some bubbles into the uh, tabletop epoxy. You had to uh, put three coats on in the end to uh, cover up all the bubble work marks. This is the epoxy now being uh, mixed up. Um, just use a plastic cup. Uh, you don't need a lot, maybe four or five um, fluid ounces. It's 50-50 mix, and I use one of those little Amazon bushes, uh, brushes, I'm sorry, an inch um, wide. So you stir it up, and I've uh, just brought out some uh, warm water out of the microwave to um, put the epoxy into, so it uh, makes the uh, viscosity, viscosity uh, a lot more fluid. You can see it's uh, warming up inside the water there. Now I'm applying it straight to the epoxy. As I said, I, I wish I had sealed that uh, maple bell because it really did give me some trouble in terms of the bubbles through the tabletop epoxy. Now I've got it on a, um, <coughs> a barbecue rotisserie spit. It's eight res per minute. It's uh, speeded up here in this video, of course, but applying the epoxy is pretty well just like paint really um, but the spinning of the bowl left overnight while the uh, epoxy cures uh, it gives it an even coat and it doesn't uh, and it prevents the runs from forming um, it does get a few drips but, you know you just sand that back and put another coat on you can see it's coming into that nice finish all of the epoxy and the uh, maple burl is completely filled with that uh, tabletop epoxy. The uh, lighter flame um, gets rid of the bubbles, and as I said, <laughs> it, it was there for hours trying to um, make it work, but um, you don't see it in the video here, but it was three coats in the end. It's final touch ups. Yep, please hit that uh, subscribe. Um, there's going to be a lot more episodes and different types of projects. Hope this project has uh, worked out for you guys and um, give you some insight on how to do it. <coughs> um, some close up uh, video footage towards the end, and uh, at the end of this video, I'll have um, some uh, stills for you to have a look at further. Look, just uh, post some comments inside my video here if you need any help. And, certainly give you my knowledge in terms of um, how it's all done um, and uh, look, look forward to the next video that we have um, it's going to be another epoxy bowl just like this but a lot deeper so we'll see how that one goes thank you very much for your time and uh, see you next time cheers